Barry, Curtis and Kennedy was a steam locomotive manufacturer in Liverpool, England. Edward Barry established the works in 1826, under the name Edward Barry and Company. He employed James Kennedy as foreman, Kennedy later became a partner. About 1828, the firm moved to bigger premises in Love Lane, Liverpool, known as the Clarence Foundry. Topic locomotives Their first engine was built in 1830. Called Dreadnought, it ran on the Liverpool and Manchester Railway. It was objected to because it was on six wheels and was sold to the Bolton and Lee Railway. The second, the four-coupled Liverpool, later in 1830, used a cranked driving axle, and was also objected to by George Stevenson because the six feet diameter wheels were too big. The Berry type However, they refined their designs and the resulting 2 0 and 0 locomotives quickly became a standard which was emulated by many other manufacturers, becoming known as the Berry type. Distinguishing features of these engines were inside horizontal or near horizontal cylinders, inside wrought iron bar frame, which gave them a light appearance, and the round firebox D-shaped in plan, with a large dome top surmounted by a safety valve. Topic railways supplied 13 were supplied to the Great Northern Railway six of them being sub-contracted to William Fairburn and Sons, and they became the standard classes on the London and Birmingham Railway, the Eastern Counties Railway, the Midland Counties Railway, the Manchester, Bolton and Barry Canal Navigation and Railway Company, the Lancaster and Preston Railway and the North Union Railway. Several were exported to the USA, more than from any other British company except R. Stevenson & Co., and where Burry's bar frames became standard. The firm had a reputation for good workmanship, cheapness and reliability. Topic train operating contract In 1836 Edward Berry contracted to run the trains of the London and Birmingham Railway at a farthing per mile per passenger at a speed not to exceed 22.5 miles per hour, the L and BR providing locomotives to Burry's specification. This contract was annulled in July 1839 because of the unexpected growth in traffic and the increased speed required, and Barry acted thereafter as locomotive superintendent of the L and BR in the normal way. The engines he had specified were built by seven different firms, Burry's firm providing 45 of the original stock of 90. Topic formation of partnership In 1842, Barry took Kennedy, Timothy Abraham Curtis and John Vernon as partners, and the company changed its name to Barry, Curtis and Kennedy. Barry continued as locomotive superintendent of the London and Birmingham Railway but a few months after it had become part of the London and North Western Railway he resigned in March 1847. In February 1848 he was appointed locomotive superintendent of the Great Northern Railway, and in June 1849 became also its general manager. Meanwhile the firm of Barry, Curtis and Kennedy continued building locomotives, some of advanced design which had a great influence on subsequent practice, such as the 2-2-2s for the L and NWR which led directly to the Bloomers, as well as one-offs such as the gigantic 6-2-0 Crampton Liverpool for the L and NWR, the most powerful locomotive in the world in 1848. 604 locomotives were built in 1848 for the LNWR Southern Division with 16 in, X20 in. Cylinders, 5 feet, driving wheels, and 3 feet, trailing wheels. Production In all Barry, Curtis and Kennedy's Clarence Foundry built about 415 locomotives, but they produced much else besides, from church bells to iron ships. At its height, the firm employed 1,600 men. <laughs> Closure 
The firm lost heavily in making components for the large bascule Blagoveshensky Bridge over the River Neva at St. Petersburg for which the Imperial Russian government never paid, according to Burry's widow. This, plus a serious decline in the shipbuilding trade in Liverpool led to the firm's closing down in 1851. Preservation <inaudible> 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 Two of the firm's locomotives have been preserved, Furnace Railway 0 No. 3 nicknamed «Old Copper Knob» or «Copper Knob», built in 1846, now in the National Railway Museum, York and Great Southern and Western Railway 2 2 No. 36, built in 1847, now at Cork Kent Railway Station, Cork, Republic of Ireland. See also B. Hick and Sons Rothwell and Company Naismith, Gaskell and Company Locomotives of the London and North Western Railway Midland Counties Railway Locomotives Topic external links Cork Kent Museum Edward Berry, 1794–1858 Cork Kent Museum Great Southern and Western Railway Express Passenger Locomotive No. 36